a report that came out that little Rhonda was eating pudding with three fingers that he shoved in there on a private jet. Yeah, that read like a Lincoln Project ad. Thank you. That's exact. Dad. God, I love this community. This is when this community is at its best, when we're fucking synchronized. You know what I mean? Hive mind shit. No, exactly. I saw that ad, and it read exactly like a Lincoln Project ad. As a matter of fact, they maybe even have some Lincoln Project motherfuckers working there now. Um, oh, speaking of what the Republican Party is good at, fuck, I know I said I'm not going to talk about uh, news any longer, but I got to cover this. Bud Light caves to a mob that was shooting at and running over its product for giving a one-minute-sponsored Instagram ad to a trans person. Bud Light CEO came out with this statement. It's not really like an apology, but it's kind of like capitulating to the fucking weirdos, which is pretty dumb, honestly. So here's what they fucking said. Okay, hold on one second. I gotta. Our responsibility to the United States of America. As the CEO of a company founded in America's heartland more than 165 years ago, I'm responsible for ensuring every customer feels proud of the beer we brew. We're honored to be a part of the fabric of this country. Anheuser-Busch employs more than 18,000 people and our independent distributors employ an additional 47,000 valued colleagues. We have thousands of partners, millions of fans, and a proud history of supporting our communities. Military first responders, sports fans, and hardworking Americans everywhere. Notice how I didn't say homosexuals? That's right, because everybody knows famously there are no homosexuals or trans folk in the first responder community, the sports fans, or do they like to work hard? Let's be real now. We never intended to be a part of a discussion that divides people. We are in the business of bringing people together over a beer. My time serving this country taught me the importance of accountability and the values upon which America was founded. Freedom, hard work, and respect for one another. And that means respecting transphobic people who wrote songs about fucking girls that are under the age of 18. That's right, Kid Rock, I'm talking to you. That was a jam. That was absolutely wonderful. I love that you keep LARPing like you are actually a rugged, working-class American, even though your father owned multiple dealerships and you grew up in a fucking McMansion, you cousin-fucking-hick. I love that shit. Ted Nugent, I love you too. Trans folk, on the other hand, I don't love you, okay? I don't love you at all. I lied. I lied to you, trans folk. I don't give a fuck what happens to you. It's a beer company. I know you know that you didn't... I know you know that I didn't give a fuck about what happens to you anyway, but, you know, this is a big fuck you anyway, regardless. <laughs> okay. As CEO of Anheuser-Busch, I'm focused on building and protecting our remarkable history and heritage. I care deeply about this country, this company, our brands, and our partners. I spend much of my time traveling across America, listening to and learning from our customers, distributors, and others. Moving forward, I will continue to work tirelessly to bring great beers to consumers across our nation. CEO, Anheuser-Busch. You are literally obsessed with this trans stuff. I'm out. My favorite type of fucking broadcaster. I swear to God, bro. What's the first link? What's the first link that this motherfucker sent me? This. What is this? Global Tree Pictures? What the fuck is this? It's a Ukraine on fire documentary. Full of idiots. Same. Grown of gone mad lol. That's not even close. Aboutism is not nice. You are literally obsessed with this trans stuff. I'm out. What the fuck is this? This shit is like literally identified as uh, by the YouTube community as inappropriate. What the hell is this?
Oh, is the Oliver Stone Ukraine doc? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, he is aboutism. <laughs> anyway. This is not an apology. It's the same pandering, non-apology every company does and when any faction makes impotent boycott threats. Yes. I mean, he didn't say anything. He didn't say he stands by it. He didn't say uh, uh, he doesn't stand by it. He basically fucking said, uh, you know, we're sorry for being divisive. Why? Because we work with a trans person. And it doesn't even matter because here it is. They must apologize. This is not enough is what Tim Pool is saying. Um, you know, they're, they're very, very frustrated and they still, they want more. They want more. It's like Bud Light needs to go out and like do a hate crime. Okay. Otherwise we will not, uh, otherwise it, it's not enough for us. That's what we want to see. Holy snowflake. I mean, I know. I love how centrist Tim Pool is by the way, but it seems he's not in the center when it comes to like trans people existing. Like, what are they supposed to do? Like, the hate crime Dylan Mulvaney or some shit? Like, what the fuck? I, I, I don't get it. What is the offense here? That they worked on a one-minute slot that the right gave significantly more brand lift to with, like, a singular trans woman? That's what it is? Anyway, um, yeah, Tim Pool needs some HRT so he can fix his fucking hairline, but, you know, that's how, he, that's how much he hates gender uh, affirmation. Um, where is the, uh, Dylan Mulvaney had a response to this? Really? Where is it? The point in, the point of this is, is so much more than just like a fucking company that is a massive conglomerate that is just like doing, uh, you know, pandering to a specific demographic. The point of this is to make trans people toxic. Okay. The point of this is to bully trans people so much that, like, you know, companies are made to apologize for even doing, like, the lightest version of, like, uh, you know, uh, recognition for trans existence. That's it. So make no mistake. That's the, that's the whole point. I see it. It happens to me, too, as a fucking left-wing content creator who does defend trans people. You know what I mean? Like, they do it to not only trans people... But they also do it to people who even defend trans people because they're fucking unhinged. People who hate trans people are so severely mentally ill that they lose their fucking minds. They can't let it go. They can't just like let trans people live. They have to do everything they can to make sure that you suffer the, the consequences of, of, you know, doing any kind of advocacy or just being trans in general. Okay. Dylan Mulvaney responded to the anti-trans backlash from her Bud Light and Nike deals. I'm an easy target. With Bud Light, some people complain the brand should know their audience and avoid Mulvaney or that the majority of her drinkers are going to cancel you. Prominent conservatives such as Kid Rock, yeah, the brand stood by Mulvaney in a statement on Instagram. Nike said uh, she was an essential component of the success of your community. We welcome comments that contribute to a positive and constructive discussion. Be kind, be inclusive, encourage each other. That's a good take. That's what, that's what Bud Light should have said. But, of course, Bud Light did not say that. They went in a direction where they did the most pussy shit they could. Where, like, you know, we, we want everybody to feel included, including, you know, trans people. And also, of course, the uh, people who hate trans people. Matt Walsh thinks he did this. The Bud Light boycott has been by far one of the most successful conservative efforts to push back against corporate wokeism we've ever seen by very wary... Uh, be, very wary of any conservative who is naysaying this. We're actually making a dent and they're complaining. Remember that. That's awesome. Bud Light is up 9% over the past month and is only slightly below its 52-week uh, highs. That's quite the win. Yeah, there's like a little dent in there, but, uh, you know, ultimately when you look at it, it's not. Motherfucker is like 60 and identifies as Kid Rock. This is the real investigation. successful yeah market watch uh, uh showing that uh 
Uh, Bud Light over, uh, I mean, like, not a one day. Let's look at, like, a three month. Yeah, it's, it's it's fucking up, dude. Bud Light is is disastrous. It's it's really, really performing poorly. I mean, look at that. Holy fuck. They did it. They destroyed it. Yeah, it's it's doing so poorly. Jim, uh, Jim Cramer is screaming, sell, sell, sell. Sell ASAP. That's how they know. I thought it was just Chud's mad about this, but I was kind of wrong. Atriox talked about this last night and said transphobia is a mental illness, which really pissed off like half of his sock them chat. It was wild to see. Oh, it's true. It's true. Transphobia is like such a severe form of mental illness, dude. I don't know how else to describe it. You can't tell me any of these motherfuckers are normal, dude. It, it, like, this is not normal behavior, dude. It's not. It's not. Constantly having trans on the fucking mind. Bro, Kramer is saying sell because he thinks it's bad, bro. You don't understand, bro. You sell things you don't want anymore. Wait, what? No, that's what I'm saying. Kramer is saying sell, so, which means you got to buy. What do you mean? It's the reverse Kramer index. What the fuck? That was the joke. I'm joking. So anyway, um, let's uh, let's get back to Charlie.